day and I am in the car headed to Johnson City. I am planning on doing some shopping. I've got um, three or four places that I need to go tonight. I'm sorry if the camera is bumpy because it tends to be when it's in the car. And I'm sorry if the lighting's changing because it's kind of an overcast day here in East Tennessee and the sun's going in and out behind the clouds, you know? So the lighting looks really weird a little. Anyway, um, I am actually going shopping by myself, but I was supposed to go with Judah tonight. But unfortunately, he is learning a lesson in doing what mom tells him to do, or that there are benefits to doing what I tell him to do, because he could not find his nice shoes today, and he can only find the two pair of play shoes that he has. And I've said many, 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 many times to all of the boys, whenever you take off your nice shoes, always put them in your closet in your bedroom. And we throw all of the play shoes in the hallway closet, like all of their snowshoes, rain boots, everything like that just goes in there because it doesn't really matter about those shoes that much. They just play in the creek with them or in the mud or ride their bikes in them, whatever. Um, but the nice shoes always go in the closet and that way you always know where they are. But it was time to go and he did not know where they were and I did give him some time to look around to find them and he can't find them. Now he's the second kiddo um, this week, maybe two weeks, that can't find their nice shoes. Uriah has also lost his nice shoes, so he's been wearing his junky play shoes, which I guess maybe I need to buy them more types of shoes that are nice that they can wear out because their play shoes are rough, y'all. Like, they are rough on their shoes. Now, I don't know if you other boy moms can relate to this or not, if your kids are, like, hard on clothes or whatever, but I tend to buy the boys um, really like cheap clothes that I call their play clothes. And in fact, when I organize their clothes at the beginning of each season, I'll take a Sharpie and I'll write like a P on the collar or on the tag or somewhere on the lining of the jeans on the inside or whatever um, that lets them know when they are folding and putting away their laundry that this is a play piece of clothing so that they don't stick it in their nice clothing bin and they know where their play clothes are that they can just get dirty around the house. So we don't have to worry about those that much. But that way they always have nice clothes that don't have stains or holes in them or anything like that from playing too rough that they can wear when we go somewhere and you need to look a little nicer. So I always do that and I do that with shoes too. But unfortunately, Judah could not find his because he didn't put it back where I told him. So he's not getting to go tonight. Um, which is a bummer for him because he misses out on, you know, getting to hang out with me for a bit, go out to eat. Um, he was going to get a milkshake uh, with a gift card that he had gotten at Easter. Um, some different things like that. So I'm hoping that this is just one of those, like, life lessons. And he will, from this point forward, put his shoes where they go and always know where they are. I do think the boys have gotten better at taking care of their clothes and their shoes the older that they're getting. I feel like I'm not having to buy as many of the play clothes or um, usually we just take last season's shoes and that becomes the play shoes for the following year when I get new shoes. Um, but if they lose them, they lose them and I don't know. Anyway, I do feel like they're getting a little bit better at keeping that stuff straightened out, but not always. Anyway. With all that said, I am heading to Johnson City. I'm going to go to a couple of children's consignment stores there because I have to get clothes for the boys for spring and summer. Now, I did a video, and I'll post the link up here. <laughs> trying to, like, drive. I'll post the link up here um, about how I shop a big consignment sale that comes around every, I guess it's every six months. Yeah, um, twice a year. And I buy the boys' clothes for the next two seasons. So I do spring and summer shopping, and then I'll do fall and winter shopping. And um, I actually missed it this year. Like, I don't know. It just blew past me. My sister-in-laws, I don't remember them talking about it that much. Um, for some reason, the emails that notify us that the sale's coming up are going to my junk email. And I just miss that stuff. I don't check it that frequently. So anyway, completely missed out. So I did no shopping for the boys for spring and summer so it's starting to get to where we're having like some pretty consistently warm days and the boys are asking if I'll get their shorts and their t-shirts out and things like that and I'm like I don't have anything for you <laughs> so anyway um Judah is really the only kiddo that needs the majority of clothes because the other boys they do get hand-me-downs that are still in good shape um and sometimes other people will give us clothes that I will just throw in there if 
we get clothes from other people. Um, but I normally don't feel like I have to do a ton of shopping for the other boys. I do some, but Judah ends up getting like the majority of the newish clothes. So anyway, with four boys and in order to have like nice clothes for them, I do like to shop the children's consignment stores. Now there are a couple in Johnson City that are open right now and I'm gonna go look at those. I normally don't shop at the stores that are like open all the time, I just do this one twice a year sale that um, comes around. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna find. Um, my sisters in law have said good things about these stores. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I'll take you guys in the store with me a little bit and show you guys around to see what they look like. One is called Owl's Nest and then the other one is called, and I think it has like adult clothes as well, not just children's. Um, and they have some home goods as well. And then the other one is called Once Upon a Time and it's just children. And then I think there's another one in Elizabethton that may be open that I will look and see. Anyway, but I kind of have to hurry because some of them close a little early and I'm getting a late start. So that's like my top priority today, getting those uh, clothes, whatever I can find, um, purchase, and I'll have to look, um, I guess again, I'll have to come back later and look again, and I'll probably will end up just buying some new clothes, just straight up go to the store and buy some new clothes. I try not to do that because um, it just saves us money to shop consignment stores, and I tend to be able to buy like nicer clothes than I normally would if I go to a store. I don't know, like, that depends. Um, sorry, I'm trying to stay out of the sun. Um, and I do feel like it's just better for the earth or the environment. Like I don't need to buy brand new clothes when there are other clothes out there that people don't want to use anymore and they're still in good shape and we can use them. So anyway, I'll take you in the store with me so you can kind of see what it looks like. It's Wednesday morning and I wanted to quickly jump on here and show you guys what I got um, when I went shopping for the boys clothes yesterday at the Owl's Nest. I wasn't able to make it to the other children's consignment store but I was okay with that because I feel like I got a pretty decent amount for all of the boys here. I probably am gonna have to go back and get a few more things for Judah because um, he has nothing and that's not enough to, what I got here is not enough to do him for all of spring and summer. So anyway, um, I spent $122.64 at the Owl's Nest. And um, let me just say, if you hear my Instant Pot in the background hissing, that's what that is, because I'm cooking beans. Anyway, um, this is Ezra. He is going into size seven. So I found this pair of shorts, and I don't remember where these were from. Let me see. Um, it says French Toast. I don't know, never heard of that brand. Anyway, so those were really cute. And then I got him, I think one, two, three, four, five shirts. Um, different brands, Crazy Eight, uh, Cat and Jack, Arizona, just different things like that. Some t-shirts and some nicer shirts. This one is super cute. I really like this one for summer. Anyway, um, I actually think I have a lot of size seven stuff for Ezra. It's over in the shop and I haven't pulled it out because I think I went crazy buying size seven clothes at the baby sale one year because I didn't have a list with me because normally I make a big list of everything that I need based on what we already have and I have not done that this year because I didn't pull anything out. Um, okay, these are Levi's and they are size eight. I didn't mean to buy any size eight clothes but they were in with the size tens which I was buying for Uriah, so those got stuck in there, but that's okay because I feel like you can never have too many nice jeans because when Ezra gets to size eight, he'll have these. Um, so here are, I think these are both Levi's and these are size 10 and these are for Uriah. And then I bought this pair of like gym shorts. These are just for them to wear um, with t-shirts and play clothes and play around here. And then I got him a couple of shirts. This is from Arizona. And this one didn't have a tag on it, but it's really cute. I like it. It's very spring and summery looking. Anyhow, so that's Uriah. And then down here for Isaiah, 
who would be in a size 12. I didn't buy him any pants or any shorts because they didn't have any in, uh, but he should have some in his box. And um, let me just say also, I always buy, even in spring and summer, I always buy jeans because the boys do wear jeans to church or if we go somewhere nicer and I don't want them in shorts and they need jeans, they have them. But we also have plenty of shorts like this in our boxes over at the shop. So I'll be pulling those out this week, I'm sure. Anyway, I did buy him a couple of shirts. I think these are both Cat and Jack. And then this one, I'm not sure where this one's from, but he did request, this is actually Judah size, but it looks small. So it looks like it'll fit Isaiah. And he requested a short sleeve shirt with a hoodie for some reason. He's really into like hoods on his shirts right now. So I bought him that. Oh, that's from Arizona. Ah, there we go. Yeah. So it's a 14, 16, but it looks small and I think Isaiah can wear it. So these are 14, 16s and these will be for Judah. One pair of pants, cause he already has some, a couple of pairs of like play shorts that are comfortable. And um, one, two, three, or five shirts for spring, summer. Some of these are like Polo, Nautica, Hollister. This is Free Planet, and I don't know what that one is on the bottom, but anyway. Um, so I feel like I did pretty well here for clothes for the boys, and like I said, I will be pulling out their bins and going through and organizing this along with all of the stuff we already have and swapping out their fall and winter clothes from last year and putting spring and summer clothes out and then I'll pack the fall and winter ones back up. Okay, so this is our mess so far. Um, we have three ditches dug for the French drains and you can already see all the water that's filling in this first one that's close to the pond. And there's water in the other two, but it gets less towards the house, like less water. Um, let's see, and then the pond Oh, what did you say those things were called right there? These are like... The crane mats. Crane mats. Okay, so we bought, what, eight of them? Six? six? Yeah, six. Okay, so these are the things I think I was telling in a different video. There's one covered in mud. <laughs> Look at all of this mud. Yep. So, there's like... Yeah, I don't even... At this point, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> there's just a deep ditch all the way around the edge of the pond so that the water will flow into that. And then we can clean out the other side. Then you break this dam and then the water comes back. I don't really know. Anyway, I do know it's a mess. Mud everywhere. We're hoping our fish are good because we were trying to do all of this without compromising the amount of fish in this pond. But we have to get it cleaned out. We have to get it fixed. So this is it in the middle of it. Is that crane mat broke over there? Yeah, yeah, it didn't break. Oh, Lilla. All right. I don't know what Charlie's all in a tiz about. Hey guys, so it's Saturday and it is super rainy here in East Tennessee, but that is not stopping Isaiah, which you can see him right over here, <laughs> and I from going antiquing and out on a little date day. So, where are we going to eat? Waffle House. Waffle House. Yes, that's like our our date restaurant <laughs> we always want to go to Waffle House um, and then we're gonna hit a few antique stores here in Elizabethton um, which is about mm, 30 minutes away from where we live um, so we don't make it down here to the antique stores all that often typically I just go in town where we live um, and so there should be a good bit of stuff here that I haven't seen you know in a while I can't remember how long it's been since I've been to these antique stores down this way but nonetheless um, I'm looking for like pictures and art and things that I can hang on the wall I have like three or four different gallery walls that I want to be working on here soon and then I still have some stuff to put on the shelves in the living room that we built on the sides of our fireplace um, anyway so that's kind of what we're looking for today um, so we'll take you guys along with us and see what we come up with.
our antiquing haul and these are things that I picked up. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly and then kind of show you where I'm thinking I'm gonna put some of this stuff. So I got a bunch of stuff for the walls and the shelves. Um, this is like the first kind of like line sketching type of photo that I have for the house, but I really like that style. So I'm gonna to try to look for more of those. And then this is an oil painting that matches a lot of the colors in our house. I'm gonna hang that probably in the entryway and I'll show you guys where I'm thinking in just a bit. This is an old Milk of Magnesia bottle that I'm gonna put on a shelf. And this is an old um, wine kind of basket thing, not basket, what does that call? Like a wine box, that's what it is. And then these are jello molds, copper jello molds. And you can see they have the Florida de Lis on them, but they're kind of fading and green on the top and then copper on the bottom. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna polish them up, if I wanna make them all coppery or not, not sure. Anyway, I picked up these little ceramic birds. I think they're super cute, I love birds. So I've got a couple of these already in the house. So I picked these up because they're a little different than the ones I have. And then I got this picture, which actually goes on a stand. Wow, that's really bright. Um, but it's a little bird's nest and a little bird's. So I thought that was cute. And then I got this Prince Albert tobacco. It hasn't been opened. Um, yeah, and you can kind of hear the tobaccos in there. I thought it looked pretty good. It's pretty rusty, but I'm going to hang that on a shelf or put that on the shelf too. Then I got this four piece set of prints from, I'm not sure what this guy's name is. Sorry, I'm trying to stay out of the picture here. Um, there's his name, but I'm not sure who he is. And then he's named each of the pictures. In my and Dean's bedroom, we have pictures of ducks, and so these kind of match, and I really liked them. So I wanted to get them and put them in some other place in the house. I'm trying to kind of do like a gallery wall or just put pictures that are similar together in places. But these are all kind of country looking and very Englishy, I think, with the birds. <laughs> Not sure. Anyway, um, I got this doily here, linen and crocheted doily, and then this is a lace like table runner right here that's gonna go on my buffet table in the dining room. Then I got this basket, which opens up just a storage basket, and I got this old um, basket as well. You can never have too many baskets. See, there's another one right there. These are two brass vases. Let's see, they are, I think Indian is what it said. I don't see the tag anymore, but I think they're from India because um, I think it talked about the Indian grasses there. Anyway, these are two mirrors that match, these two, and then this is a gold framed mirror, so I'm gonna put these on gallery walls mixed in with the photos. Um, I got this brass, like, I'm gonna put, um, I've got these um, peacock feathers in there, and it's not full enough yet, but my mother-in-law has a bunch of peacocks, so I'll just ask her to save some feathers for me, and then I'll fill it out some more. So we also got these two books. This one is the works of Christopher Marlowe, and so is the boys and I have studied Shakespeare. We know who Christopher Marlowe is, so I thought that was fun to pick something like that up. And then this book is Exploring Nature with Your Child, which um, I thought would be good for us since nature study can be a difficult subject for us in homeschooling, so I thought that that would be a good thing to get. Um, yeah, and I think that this is everything. I think this is everything from our little antiquing haul today. I really love this painting here and that frame. Anyway, so a lot of this stuff is for this space where Dean built these shelves around the fireplace. And this side is okay. I actually have like a mirror that's gonna hang right back there on the wall. So I've gotta fill in this and this a little bit. And then this side is not really done. I have some stuff over here, but you can see there's a lot of open space and I'm thinking that I wanna put something on that wall right there because that's a big wall and there's not anything there. So I think it needs something. And then I also thought that over here, I needed some things on the wall to kind of fill this section in. Sorry, I've got bags of clothes right there right now that I need to put in the boys' <laughs> uh, little boxes for spring and summer. Anyway, so I need to fill that spot in a little bit. And then the last spot, well actually no, it's not the last spot. This room right here, this is our entryway. And I recently bought this rug from Amazon. It's an antique distressed rug. Obviously it's not antique, it's from Amazon, but it's supposed to look like it's an antique rug. And it's a low pile. And I love it for this room because this is our entryway. So it gets a lot of dirt where people are walking in and out. And you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but our floor is just 
covered in dirt right now where we're having all the yard work done and we're tracking dirt in and out. Anyway, I need a photo here and then on this wall, I don't have a photo either, right there. This is a small room, so it's kind of hard to see. And then right here, right next to this door, we've got this big space. Right here, we'll, we keep like walking sticks and umbrellas and things. And I thought it would be nice to have like photos here. So maybe I'll put the bird photos right on the inside of that wall. Maybe I'll hold them up there, see what I think. Maybe I'll keep them there, maybe I won't, I don't know. Um, let's see, there's one more wall, which I don't know. I probably got some stuff that could go in there. In our guest bathroom, we have one photo. It's like a watercolor photo with some birds. Um, and I wanna do like a gallery wall there in that spot. So I thought maybe some of this stuff could go in that room. Um, but now I'm not sure, we'll just see. I'm just gonna start putting stuff around. And you know, as I fill spaces, then I'll shop for other spaces. But I just kind of walked around today just thinking what kinds of things can go on shelves, what kinds of things can hang on walls. and. Um, Isaiah helped me a lot picking out things and helping me carry stuff and all of that good stuff. So we had a good time today and we got a good shopping haul here. I think I spent like $250 on all of this stuff and the most expensive thing that I bought was $25. And that was this four pack of pictures that were $25. So everything was pretty cheap here, believe it or not. So yeah, I'm excited to get this stuff all set up. one's yours. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So now you can use everyone. Now the squad has the switch! Now we're the quad has the switch! Wait, is he already set up on a Fortnite account? Yeah, I yeah. did that while I was at church. Hi, hey, buddy. It took me forever to get into you. the Wi-Fi. Oh, them. that's a free play Fortnite. You have to log into the Wi-Fi. Hey guys, so it's Monday evening and um, I'm just waiting on Dean and the boys to get home from piano. We're going to have a late dinner, which is typical for us on Monday nights. Um, and so I just thought I would jump on here and wrap up this weekly vlog and then get ready to start another one tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of the little things we got up to this week. It was a lot of stuff. Um, it was a busy week, I feel like. I'm not sure how this next week's gonna go, if it's gonna be as busy, but we'll see. And I hope you guys will join us for the next vlog. Um, if you did enjoy this week's vlog, I would love it if you give um, the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. I will leave links to anything I mentioned in the video in the description box below. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would do that. That way you can stay up to date on new vlogs, what's going on here at our cottage, um, any herbal tips or seasonal living tips, um, natural living hacks, anything like that that I decide to get around to sharing on our YouTube channel, you will um, be able to kind of go along with us and learn those things as well. So anyway, I'm gonna get off here because it's getting late and um, yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video, bye.